Uh, then in, a in April, my mom convinced me, convinced my father to to make video learning adventures and sh on videos and share them to other kids. Yeah. So we decided to do that. And the first video was a strawberry farm. That's exactly right. Gotcha. That, that is exactly how yeah. that, that part started. Somewhere along there, Alex is exactly right. My wife said, you guys are seeing so many neat things. Yeah. And there's so many other kids who would benefit from seeing this, but just don't have that opportunity. Uh -huh. You gotta start sharing it. And uh, I thought, okay, yeah. you know, we'll try. And so we started making some videos for YouTube. Had no clue what we were doing when we started out. Um, but right off the bat, I found some amazing things. You know, we had three subscribers and five views, you know, with the first video. But um, for Alex, one, it gave me feedback on how much he learned during that visit. Yeah. But it also reinforced whatever he learned. You know, uh, they were, if there were missing gaps of information, we'd have to go look them up and mm -hmm. find them out. And, um, and then I also had him practice his communication skills. I love listening to the very first one we did where he's doing vo voiceover work and compared to now. Uh, because in a year he's made so much progress, and day to day you don't recognize yeah. it, but when you look back over that right. time frame, yeah. you know it's it's been really amazing. Yeah. It, it's the same. I, I mean, I can relate to because when I started doing the podcast, you know, I go back and listen to them, and I had a conversation with a friend this morning. Reps just matter so much, right? You know, you do it re repetitively for you know every day or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. Doesn't have to be a full episode or a full video, but just doing it and practicing it as much as you can. I mean, and you, like I said, you don't notice the difference day by day. But when you watch that first video and you watch the one now, totally, it's just so much more confident. It's you know very good. And like I said, social skills will help so much more when you're presenting to a camera. Like that's that's a skill that not many people can do. So you're mastering it at a young age. So I can't wait to see what it's like in ten years. <laughs> yeah. You have your own talk show. You'd be taking my job. <laughs> yeah, my guess is that I'm just I'm just gonna celebrate a. 50 videos in one year. 50 videos? You'd, so you've done almost one a week and, then? And even one year of a yeah. YouTube channel in a while. And the YouTube channel's at over 1,000 subscribers, is it? Yeah, we, uh, yeah. We've, we're, I think we're around 1,200 subscribers yeah. now, and, and that's just been, you know, just plugging away and slow growth. Usually whenever we go to a place, uh -huh. um, you know, they become interested because it's sure. about their topic, and then yeah. they share it with a few people, and so, yeah, we've, we've just... That's slow great. and steady been picking them up I, a year ago when we're sitting there looking at three and i think okay i've got five friends and four uncles who may watch this yeah, you know and i've maybe, watched it 10 times already <laughs> yeah <laughs> maybe someday we'll have 50 subscribers so, yeah that, you know i know there's huge ones out there but for us considering where we started and right. and uh and what we're trying to do uh, it's it's just yeah. been beyond our expectations and beyond the you know the subscribers yeah some of the stories that we get back um of course, there's initially our, our, our mindset was, well, are the kids with autism, but then we quickly realize um, all kids are, uh, need exposure to some of these things. Uh, some of the ideas, frankly, we got from your podcast with the agritourism. Mm -hmm. And so many of those kids yeah. don't get the opportunity to see these things on the farm. And so we, uh, we have some uh, high schools that are, mm -hmm. are using it in their classrooms. Um, some of the places we've been on ranches where we're preg checking cows, they use that as instructional material. Yeah. One of our old college professors, I uh, have an engineering background, he uses the cotton gin one in a college classroom setting. Yeah. So that's pretty amazing. But my favorite one is um, there's a, in, in South Africa, some of the schools that were closed down because of COVID, but also some, some civil unrest, uh, we heard some feedback from them that they were using it as part of their daily um, classwork yeah. and um, at that point you're like okay however many subscribers doesn't matter, doesn't matter. you know it was someone off around the world is watching what I do it, yeah. yeah and 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 Alex who at three couldn't talk is now helping yeah. helping kids that we'll never see halfway around the world learn right. so um, you know that that makes you think. Okay, that's that's worth messing with the files and doing that, <laughs> learning how to edit and all that stuff. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah.